Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. BricsCAD has a number of folders in which it stores support files, such as those needed for fonts and line types. And it finds those support files by consulting paths to the folders. Path specifies the name of the drive and the folder, such as C backslash colon BricsCAD. Now there's several reasons why you may want to change file paths that BricsCAD uses. For example, uh, your firm has clients with different standards for fonts and layers and so on, or you're a third party developer and need to have paths pointing to different files. Another reason might be you import drawings from other CAD packages and need to map different sets of fonts via font map files. So for example, line types are added through a line type file. You click the load button and it uh, comes up with this uh, dialog box for loading files in the default folder that holds the line type definitions. Now you could go and uh, click here and then you can see these are uh, the ones for Brixis, but what if you want the ones, say, from AutoCAD or a specific client? That's not easy to navigate. There's a lot of folders there. So I'm going to show you how to use the settings command to redirect the support folder. To modify the uh, paths, I'm going to go into the settings dialog box. So from the menu bar, click settings, settings again, and the files are located in the uh, program options section. And I'm going to open up the files node and here we are. And you can see that uh, there's all kinds of paths that um, BricsCAD uses. Let me go through them. This is the support uh, files and those are things like fonts and um, plugins and line types and so on. That's the one we're going to be working with in a few moments. Uh, the other ones are more ones that uh, BricsCAD uses for its own purposes, such as where to save backup files, where to keep uh, temporary files from uh, Shapu, uh, where to cache image files, and, and so on. So let's go back to the support search file. You can see there's a, several paths there, and each one is separated by a semicolon. That's how BricsCAD knows one file path ends and the next one starts. And it looks like a confusing mess, hard to edit, but that's really not a problem. So what you do is you go over here at the end, click on this uh, button with the three dots, and up pops a dialog box that lists them nicely in order. Now, if you want to uh, add a uh, file path to this list, you click on this new button, and uh, there's this blank line. How do you fill that in? Well, you uh, click once again this button, and then uh, it prompts you to uh, choose a folder. Now previously I went to this particular folder which is where um, Autodesk keeps its sheet sets. I really don't want to be there. I want to go to this uh, support folder and uh, I've selected it and now it's added to the list. Click OK and uh, BricsCAD bold faces it to let you know that it's changed. And you can click the red X and there we go. Now on the other side of the next uh, title, I'm going to show you how this affects the line type uh, file. Let's see now how changing the path affects where BricsCAD looks for support files. I'm going to go into uh, line types, uh, load a line type, and you can see that uh, it's opened up into uh, directly to where AutoCAD line types are kept. Now I'll show you the path here. You can see Autodesk AutoCAD support, and uh, there's the, the AutoCAD line type file right there. So I'll click open, and we can see that once again, it's uh, loaded the ones from uh, Autodesk AutoCAD, and there's the AutoCAD uh, line type definition. So that's what's useful about being able to uh, modify support file paths. To learn more about this, and it's a fairly in-depth topic, uh, read the Customizing BricsCAD book. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on Customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself. Ha, <laughs> ha,